Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. I am so excited to finally announce that the baby garter snakes have been born. Here is the first glimpse I caught of any babies right here. Just finding the first babies now. Do you see any? Are those little babies right there? Those, those are, are little those babies are little right babies. there. There's mama. <laughs> As luck would have it, they showed up on a day that I had to go to work, so I moved three into one of the bins I had prepared for them and had to come back for the rest later that day. All right, I just got home from work. You can see Ruby, the mother, there. Uh, I need to remove her. I had already moved, removed the males and put them in here where they can hang out safely just thought i'd you know reduce complexity of things i'm going to take her out and put her with the males and then i'm going to start removing substrate one by one and count how many babies we have so far i have three that i have put into their grow up bin i only had time to do that this morning and so now i need to get all the rest of them so let's uh remove the painter's tape uh, from the door and get started. I can see a number of babies in there. I know that there are at least a total of six babies, but uh, we'll see what, oh, there's a baby trying to get out the door right there. Good thing I have it taped up. And, oh, whoa. Kind of upsetting the mother just a little bit here. She usually doesn't do that. She doesn't tail whip, but she's had a hard day. So totally understandable. You know, one nice thing about these is that they have never musked me, even when they were very little. So I'm going to put her in with the boys and we'll go from there. All right. Just going to methodically start removing things. Start with the water dish. Set that up here for now. And I have a couple of bins, one to put decor in and one to put substrate in so that I don't miss anything. Don't want any snakes slipping through the cracks, so to speak. So I'm gonna take this out. It's very likely there could be some babies in there. It's a recent snake skin. All the last couple of days the snakes have shed, there's some of the, the isopods, the clown isopods that I use as a cleanup crew in here. I'm gonna have to deal with those a little bit separately, but here we go. Well, that time lapse didn't work out quite how I had expected it to. Uh, you couldn't really see me picking up the baby snakes, but you could probably see them slithering about on the bottom. I had to remove essentially all of the substrate to be sure and go into the root systems of the plants and everything. Now I'm going to replace the substrate. It's time to get a final count on these babies. I thought I had found them all because I had removed essentially everything from the adult's tank and then painstakingly put it all back and an hour or so later, I saw another baby in there. It must have been nestled deep within the recesses of a fern or something like that. But anyway, it's time to get a final count now because that sort of confused me. And here's where they're going. I have two identical, essentially identical bins. These are the uh, sugar containers that uh, Snake Discovery recommended. Purchased those on Amazon a year or so ago. Got their little human hide with the sphagnum moss all moist in there on the warm side this is the warm side there's approximately a third of the uh, enclosure about like that or something maybe a quarter somewhere around that that is heated with a heat heat tape and a thermostat and then of course more hides here shallow water dish and piece of wood and some magnolia leaves for enrichment and places to hide and then the other bin is essentially same right here both drilled liberally on top along the sides and there's some down you can't really see but there's some down along the bottom there just to make sure the ventilation is really good and now let's separate them out into their bins it's actually pretty hard to handle these little guys they're so tiny but i think i'm getting the hang of it handling a lot of isopods helps so there's one
I'm going for about 10 in each bin. I wasn't quite sure how big the size of the litter would be. There's number two right there. This one is a lot more relaxed about things. There we go. Two. There's number three. Makes it easy when they try to climb up the sides like that. There's number four. I just have to keep my eye on them, make sure they don't climb up the sides. There's five and six right there. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. There's number 10 right there. I'm gonna put one more in this bin. That's number 11 right there. There goes number 11. Close the bin, make sure nobody's sticking out, and lock it down. These bins are great because they have gaskets. Uh, even tiny snakes like these can't get out. As long as you don't make any holes, that are too big and you actually lock them down. I use these to keep my neonates, the, uh, the parents of, of these guys. All right, let's see what we got. There's one. You can see the markings on these guys. I hope they turn out nice and colorful. They do color up a bit more as they get older, but you can already see the, the patterning on the sides there. There's number one. Just easier to get them. There's number two. Number three, I'm getting the hang of this, four. There's five right there. Six, seven, eight. There's nine, the most difficult to get, and I don't know, we'll see if I can this one to climb up the side a little bit won't be so difficult perhaps to hmm scoop up without grabbing can't do a lot of grabbing with such tiny little snakes and there's 10 for a total of 21 live snakes and one stillborn not bad for a first litter before I show you the first feeding of these adorable little garter snakes I want to give a shout out to those of you who support me on Patreon. If you are a patron, you may already have had a sneak peek of the baby snakes. If you saw the lens clip that I posted the very day that I discovered these little beauties. For those of you who don't know, lens video clips are short sneak peeks that disappear after 24 hours, and they're a fun perk for patrons. If you'd like to become a patron for as little as a dollar a month, please click the link at the end of the video. All right, we're going to try to see if we can feed these little garters. This is a mixture of earthworms and finely minced rodent. So let's see what we get. Let's see if I can tempt some of them out just by the smell alone. First, we'll wait just a second to see how that goes. And if that doesn't work, I will try uh, tempting them with little tidbits. I can see some of them resting near the the exit of the um, little hides there. We'll see what we get. Oh, look. There's a bold one coming out to see. There's another bold one coming out of the... You probably can't see it in the shot, but it's coming too coming out at least to investigate what's going on. Maybe I'm gonna just try a little bit. Well, it seems kind of interested. What is this one? Oh, 
Oh yeah. This one's very interested. First bite. Here we go. I am so excited to raise the first baby snakes that I've ever produced. Well, that Ruby produced, but I facilitated the process to some degree. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell so you don't miss my next video.